Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video, the product research course. We've learned some pretty good methods so far, but this one's actually really fun. I do have some, uh, some good tips for you in this lesson. We're gonna be using Amazon's own research and own sales team to try and figure out ideas. Amazon takes advantage of all their internal information. They have information even better than Jungle Scout or Helium 10 or Viral Launch. They have their own sales information directly from <laughs> their own website, right? So they have immense amounts of data about what people are buying. And they use that information in their brand, Amazon Basics, to go ahead and launch versions of products and markets that are already successful. So we could go see what Amazon thinks are good markets based on their own database of sales histories. Um, and they're not gonna sell in markets that they don't think it's worth their time to source a product and sell in. Um, so this isn't I don't think a huge operation. They don't have like, you know, it's not like the majority of sales on Amazon or Amazon basics. It's actually the majority is private label sellers and Amazon is just following that and going and checking out what's selling well and then selling it. Um, you know, taking higher margins for themselves and we could use that information to our uh, benefit. So what we're gonna do is type in Amazon basics so that we could just find a generic product of theirs. And then what we're gonna do is we're actually just gonna click on, so here we go, Amazon Basics. So this is just a hard drive. Hard drive enclosure, enclosure, not an actual hard drive. I was gonna say, how is a hard drive $9? So then where we go from here is we would actually click on to Amazon Basics. So you can't go to the buy box for this one. Um, I don't believe because it's just shipped by Amazon so they know who the seller is. Um, yeah, so what we could actually do is we'll go, um, like I said, I was just trying to make sure that if you click in there, it wouldn't work. But what you do is you click on the brand. Normally you wouldn't do that. You'd click in the buy box, um, but this will bring you to their storefront. And then what you can do is you could actually look through here and just use it as a catalog of products. So they're selling all these products, right? So what we could do then is maybe we'll go into, um, I don't know, let's see. Let's bounce around in here. Um, and there, you know, there is subcategories up top. I'm trying to just see what their homepage looks like. Cool, so why don't we go into a specific category actually? So it, this is actually a brand store, right? So we could go in here Maybe we could go to, uh, let's see what more has. And then let's do, so yeah, they've actually tried to branch out into every possible category. And that's a, that's a good goal for an Amazon seller. Honestly, you should take after what they're doing. You wanna spread your store across a bunch of different markets, not just specialize in one market necessarily. Um, that's one of my personal goals is to have a brand in every single category. So the main ones, right? So pet supplies, home improvement, home and kitchen, um, office products. So let's go see what they have for home. And then maybe, uh, no, I don't like that. I'm just a little bit picky, um, but that's, that's kind of how this whole thing's gonna work. So you go patio, lawn and garden. I actually like that category a lot. So we can actually click in here. Um, a rope hammock is probably too competitive. We're just looking through here for ideas, guys. This one's really self-explanatory. So they have their own grill gloves. And like, look, that's what I see. See what I mean? Like that's not an incredible amount of products for one category. Um, that's all their patio, lawn and garden stuff. So another way you could do this, you could look through their storefront and like, you know, go to office products and actually just look through here and look at their ideas. But what you can also do is you could just, and I'm gonna show you this in a second. You could actually go um, onto Amazon, search Amazon basics, and then that's actually just gonna show you all their products. So now what we can do is we could scroll through here. And I don't believe you could pull up Jungle Scout on a brand page. So you could pull it up on someone's storefront, but a brand page is different. Um, so we could look through here actually and look for product ideas. So uh, monopod, no, 
plastic cutlery. So some of these are gonna be basic, but if we go ahead and scroll up, man, my laptop is not heavy about the workload I'm putting on it for this course. <laughs> like I said, I usually film on my um, big computer, which is more powerful, but. So <laughs> bear with me here. We could actually click into any of these categories and then treat it as if we were doing the category diving, but we're only looking at what Amazon thinks is fit to sell. So we could go into, let's see, maybe you wanna go into, I was looking for like an arts and crafts, but I guess they don't have it. So maybe we would go into, <laughs> I feel like a broken record. I just keep saying, go into, go into something like home and kitchen, right? And then we're gonna actually see all their home and kitchen products here. And there's more, there's more categories, don't forget that. But now we're looking for Amazon basics within home and kitchen. So something as simple as, okay, now we're rolling. I'll just start going through the pages. Now a lot of these are gonna be more competitive products, so don't fall prey to think that any one of these are good. Okay, what was that? A freestanding toilet paper stand with sling reserve. So that's piqued my interest. I wouldn't do a shredder, I wouldn't do Tupperware, I wouldn't do cupcake tin things. But this, here's why this is such a good opportunity. Now I don't even know how much money this is making. It could be making absolutely nothing. So that's where you'd wanna use your research tool. Um, but we'll use this as an example just to kind of portray what I'm trying to get across here. So yeah, this one's not doing that well. Um, probably because it's a weird product. <laughs> That's a little bit judgmental. I don't mean that it's weird in the sense of you know what it's doing, but it's just like, I didn't even know what it was. I don't think this title would get a lot of searches. Um, so here's why you can compete with Amazon Basics. A lot of people are probably gonna think this is a stupid method because you wouldn't want to sell against Amazon, but look at their listing, guys. It's just the product on a white background <laughs> for five pictures. Um, okay, so that's what the reserve sling is for. I got it. They only have one lifestyle. The way this should really look is it should be like two on white backgrounds, maybe three max, a front, a back, and a side, and then there should be like four lifestyle pictures. Um, this is also just the shortest little key term or not key terms bullet points i've ever seen so you could you can make these bullet points a lot more keyword inclusive you can make this listing a lot better now how long has this been selling so it's probably pretty new um yeah so this only started selling in okay so it was a year old i thought that was july of this year um it is a year old and you can see the sales trend does not look too good um this is really not making a lot of sales they're maybe selling two or three a month um, the only way I know that is because of Jungle Scout and seeing these dips, these dips, um, you know, a good sales graph is this red line is going to be at the majority just all the way at the bottom. And that shows that it's performing well in its category. But yeah, that's how you would do the Amazon basics. So we would bounce back to their home screen. You could treat this like a storefront, right? So you could keep going in. So maybe go to string lights from here um, and kind of just see what variations of string lights they have. Um, so here's an electronics toolkit, right? So that's like for fixing phones. I actually used to specialize in that. Um, I am a certified technician for Apple phone repairs. That's what I used to do before I started selling on Amazon. Worked at Staples as a technician, fixing cracked iPhones and fixing computers. So they've differentiated themselves quite well. Look, this only has five reviews. Um, that's actually, I don't know, is that Amazon's listing? Because we did search Amazon basics here. Well, looks like my ride's here. That's how you do the Amazon basics method, guys. There's not much more to this. Again, I don't use this one too often. You guys may or may not. I have had some fun with it. It is, again, just more information, something that I do know how to do, so I did want to share that with you. If you really want to kick some ass, I would stick with what I'm going to show you next. And, you know, obviously my favorite one, just 
the storefront method is so good. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and uh, sorry about the sirens. There's nothing I could do. If I could pause that sound with my mind, I would. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next lesson.